It's Beer and O'Clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Thornbridge Brewery and it's a collaboration with Brewery Tay and it's the American Wheat Ale coming in at 5.8% ABV. So, it's a, I'll read it out. We collaborate with Dutch Brewery Brewery Tay to create this refreshing and unique American Wheat Ale brewed with galaxy and mosaic hops to give fantastic flavours of grapefruit and passion fruit before culminating in a long lasting crisp finish sounds fantastic let's get it out into a glass see what we get there's a look at the bottle cap that classic thornbridge bottle cap 10 years they've been brewing well over 10 years now it's 2016 11 years now nice bit of smoke on the opening i'm using it's an american wheat beer it's a it's a wheat beer style beer so i'm going to put it in a wheat beer glass Maybe, maybe not 100% correct, but I really, really like my wheat beer glass from Poland. Um, it's just, I think I like just the narrowness at the bottom. The way it balances and feels in my hand. Yeah, it's a proper, proper drinking glass. I like that. So I'm going to use it. it. Might be bottle conditioned. Maybe just a little bit unfiltered. It's not a German wheat beer, so it doesn't necessarily have to be cloudy and hazy, does it? American wheat beer. It can be clear. Nice up of the carbonation, quite a clear beer. Golden in colour, two finger white head. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it smells lovely. You get that kind of spicy galaxy hop in there. Slightly sweet. It's lovely, lovely. You can pick this beer up from alesbymail.co.uk or alesbymail.com. I need to check that. The link for the description or the link for the website for this beer company, alesbymail.com, is in the description box for this video. So if you want to head on over there, have a look at their beers, uh, please do, please do. But not yet, after the review. Cheers, guys. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. oh yes, 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 Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a fantastic, fantastic tasting beer then. Why? Well for the start it's 5.8% ABV and it just drinks incredibly well. <laughs> it's crisp, refreshing. It's, it's, and that, that's the point of this beer, is that it's so refreshing. Being 5.8% ABV, it's always a balance. When you, when you raise the alcohol by volume in the beer, say you sat down and you scribbled on a bit of paper, you wanted to brew a beer at 7%, but you want it drinkable at the same time. It becomes difficult then because you have to, of course, the more alcohol you want from the beer, the more malt you have to add to the beer. And when you add malt to the beer, it generally adds to the mouthfeel. It makes it more creamy, makes it more full bodied. By creating a 5.8% ABV beer and creating it so drinkable is, is art. For me, it's art. So that's the mouthfeel dealt with. Let's, let's get into more of the flavours that come through on the beer. It's lovely. It starts off being a bit spicy and a bit sweet all at the same time. Spicy from the hops, uh, sweet from the malt, and then, yeah, it's crisp, lovely and hoppy on the back end. That galaxy hop, uh, it, it generally is referred to as quite a spicy hop from America. That might be where the, the, a lot of the spicy flavours are coming from. Maybe some of the yeast is doing that as well maybe some of the malts, but it's just a lovely, it's quite a longing bitterness on the back end. It's kind of spicy, then it rolls on from being spicy over to big and, and, and hoppy on the back end and bitter. It's, 
It's a tough one. It's a little bit of lemon. It's a little bit of kind of dry orange peel. And then a little bit of tangerine. Then on, on right at the end is a little bit of passion fruit. What a great beer. What a great beer. This, for me, and the thing is with Thornbridge is, I'm a big fan of buying, I have a local shop near me, Waitrose. Um, I, I don't mean to, they got enough advertising. I don't mean to kind of advertise for Waitrose here, but I can always rely on Waitrose to pop down to this shop. I can pick up some Jaipur. I can pick up some, uh, what other beers we have down there? My head's a bit loose now. Uh, Wild Swan, that's another one. My head's gone to pieces. Anyway, I can buy a selection of Thornbridge beers down in Waitrose. And I like to do that because I like to buy a variety of their beers. And this would be such a great addition to that. If you were if you were planning to meet friends or family, do you know when you have a late email or a text off somebody saying, come around for a drink tomorrow. And you're like, that sounds good. Why not? I've got no beer. Waitrose, round the corner. Pop down to Waitrose, buy a selection of beer. This would be a great addition to that. You would probably start on this, or maybe the Wild Swan, which is a low ABV, uh, quite high bitterness uh, a beer good start a beer for the day um i am a bit of a day drinker i prefer to drink by day if i'm honest so yeah you start off with a wild swan you could, you could move on to this or i'm trying to think of my one of my favorite beers from thornbridge as i'm speaking i can't quite remember the name of this beer uh, oh anyway anyway and then you'd end up drinking some jaipur and then some of the stronger double IPAs and maybe Jiper X and yeah. So I like to buy, long story short, I like to buy a collection of beers from from Thornbridge to try. And yeah, this would be a great addition. Kind of sausage, sausage rolls, a bar on the barbecue or in the grill. You know when you're, you, I kind of like to start drinking about one o'clock with my friends in the afternoon. A couple of beers and then you get a bit, you know when you get a little bit peckish when you're drinking? And you think, oh, what have we got? And then you, you either light up the barbecue and put some hot dogs on. Hot dogs and beer. Oh, it's just, it's just amazing. And they don't have to be expensive. It can be cheap old sausages with, with some brown sauce on or, or mustard or whatever. But it just, it, it would go so well with this beer. It's really, really good. I can't emphasize enough just how good this beer is it's yes you get the wheat at the beginning the wheat beer slightly dry spicy hoppy it's it's so good it's so good i'm just gonna rate it for me ah oh, if it, that would be dangerous at a beer if i went to a beer festival and started drinking that that would be such a dangerous drink Amazing, amazing drink. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Real Craft Beer. Five point eight percent ABV. It is Thornbridge Brewery. What's it called now? Brewery Tay. That's it. Thornbridge and Brewery Tay collaboration. American wheat beer. Five point eight percent ABV. Please go and try it. Nine out of ten. Check out Ales by Mail. Ales by Mail are in the description box of this video. Check them out. Um, please comment. Please subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.